Hey guys, I have a short little video from the other day at AHR. Um, Y'all may have seen the other view of this from Cooling with Kraus. I hope you enjoy, stay tuned. Huh? Yeah. Hey, that was good. Let me show you how to cut a hook. Yeah. Oh, he said, is this an 18 volt battery? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Got Gotta be. Oh, Let me see if it. There we go. Put some man hands on it. Yeah, that looks like a Makita battery. A little bit different. Catch. Catch. Oh, he does got it. Look, look, boom, boom. Look at there. My favorite. Attach that to that one. To the to the vacuum pump. No, no, this to one, the sir. vacuum pump. Now, are you a yellow? Are you a yellow guy or a red guy? Red. Attach that to that. Oh shit! Hey. Turn the button. Hit the button. Yeah. Hit the button. Turn it on. Y'all hear that? Way. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's the runtime? Oh, that's sick, man. All right. Two CFM. Dang. You got a quarter with a three eighths. Yeah. So open it up a little bit. It's not open. Oh, there we go. Still quiet as hell, it bro. Is. <laughs> no, no. That's nice. That's sick. Yeah. Bro. Because all the other ones, the battery ones, are so big. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. And this is like the balance of it. Like you said, so you got a nine amp hour battery in two and a half hours. So, but this is? This is theirs? This is the one that comes with it. Yeah. And then the uh, the adapter comes with it. The adapter will be used as a promo, like find a pump. Oh, and sick! And then look, your other side. If you switch it to maybe, right? Oh, well, that's just the. Oh, so here, take take the Milwaukee off. I want to see. And so it'll. Yeah, see, it's just got so the wall should fit on that too. Because he asked you if you're a yellow guy too. It might. Yeah. Uh, if you're a yellow guy here. Look. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's the new power stack too. <laughs> Look, oh, that's sick. No, this is this very. It goes in. Yep, yeah. yep. Boom. So one total adapter. Put it on. That thing is ridiculous. Still running. So compact. That might be worth just trying. And it's not even. Like, I think the Navac one's like super plastic, right? This one's like all aluminum. All metal, yeah. That's light. Yeah, that's... What's the rollout on this thing? May. No, not May. I'm sorry. That, that's that's late March. Late March. Oh, so right, right before soon. the season yeah, gets crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's that's our big one. Oh, got some other ones. Oh, other stuff, other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's actually a pretty cool little yeah. tool. Thank you. I like it. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. It is. Okay. So, what do you want to know about it? How it works. Tell Boom. Me. Can you... Does Magic. It, does it draw <laughs> the cleaner out of the bottle, or do you have to add it in? So, there's a little fairy that lives inside here. <laughs> Stupid. And it's on a little bicycle. And it's pedaling like a squirrel on crack. I love it. When you go and pull the trigger, after you've selected your refrigerant by this selector switch over here, right there. So you've got H2O, which is water only. Sorry. Chemical position one, two, or three, which corresponds to chemical position one, two, or three. Oh. So as you choose your chemical positions, I'm gonna go to two because green's got the most in it right now. And as I'm using the system, you'll see it draw it down. I see that. That's so cool. So that, that, that fairy in there is, is kicking ass. That, that, that fairy in there is pedaling like a squirrel on crack and is not ending. 
That's pretty cool. Now the cool thing about this is the siphon ratio is the same across. So if you wanted to say load it up with our triple D, which is the orange, you could do orange, orange, orange. Or if you want to do orange, orange, green, or orange, green, orange. As long as you remember which chemical selection switch you need to have it on, you can put whatever chemicals from Speed Clean you can put in there. What's the ratio of chemical to water? That's proprietary. <laughs> Because I, I'm not naive in saying that I know when this chemical bottle runs out, people are going to unscrew it and go, Viper, <laughs> and screw it back in. Will Viper work? Yes. Will it be as effective as our Triple D solution? No. Will it do damage to the inside of this? Yes. Tackling all angles here, you know what I mean? I, I had love to, it. I had to ask. No, <laughs> it was a good question. <laughs> well, no, and and, and I, I, to be clear, I I'm trying to be understanding. Yeah, being transparent, that's all. Right. I mean, yeah. You know when you're in the field, and if you got to go somewhere and get something because that's all you have. Right. Got to use it. Uh, I mean, there's just one brown chemical that I've seen that's absolutely gnarly. Ruin. Yeah. Yep. But I've had people put it through the CJ125. <laughs> And, it's so, just like, and you got two different nozzles here. Right. So I've got the green, which is a 25, and the yellow, which is a 15. Now, uh, how much pressure are you getting out of this? So it's the same pump that's in the CJ125 that's in also the CJ200E. So it's the Aquatech 125 PSI, 0.6 per gallons per minute pump. Made in the USA. It's a special pump for this application. Well, uh, pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of so we, we tried to solve a bunch of user headaches with the 125 in this model, especially when it comes to like say switching out the battery and changing the battery. It's now a quick disconnect. Okay. So it's super easy to, to plug and unplug. Well, how do you charge it up? So you can charge it two different ways. You're going to get a charger that comes with either that quick disconnect or. Is it 12 volt? 12 volt, 10 amp hour lithium ion. Uh oh. That's cool. It's not a tool. It's not a tool. Tool battery, not yet. Yeah. My, my. If that, if that's recording, I can't say. Stay tuned for more. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, how about like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.